Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to talk about some must-have tools for mentoring. And the reason I want to go over these is I want to make uh, leadership just a little bit easier and simpler and less emotionally charged for you uh, in your network marketing business. And so this will be helpful for you if you are not recruiting team members because you're nervous about mentoring or you already have a team and mentoring feels like just a lot it feels heavy, maybe not that joyful. Um, and so we just want to help you with some tools uh, to make it easier so you can focus on the things that you're really good at, like networking, enrolling, launching, um, and just being your awesome self, not being tied to the phone, things like that. So um, the first thing I want to do is just like go over what's hard about mentoring other people. And I just kind of thought jogged a, a list of what I've heard um, from potential clients and clients that we work with. Uh, we help network marketers of all skill, skill levels with their confidence and like encouragement processes, right? Skills, things like that. So the first thing I think that's hard is just in general confidence of what to say, right? A lot of the times the people we're leading are people we really care about and we don't wanna screw it up, right? So I think there's a, sometimes just a confidence issue. Um, you know, there's no experience here. Most people, when they're in network marketing, uh, what's really awesome about network marketing, which I really love, is that you don't have to have had like 10 years in some sort of, of thing in order to qualify to be a network marketing leader. But here's the thing. As soon as you decide, I want to be a network marketer, you're like promoted to sales manager. And so I think that just not having that much experience, like you don't know what to expect. Right. I think that's hard. I think um, that when you do try to mentor people, like they don't always take action. Um, I think what's hard is sometimes it feels like it turns into therapy. Um, I think sometimes there's like, I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Right. And it gets kind of convoluted. I think there's a lot of different things um, that feel hard about that. If there's anything that I missed on here um, that's hard about mentoring when it comes to network marketing, um, I want you to just go ahead and pop it in the comments. That'll be really helpful. Or just let me know, like, which is the one that is hardest for you? And I know that can be really vulnerable, but I want to let you guys know that it is OK to be human and accept that things are hard. Um, I have a, a Zoom call in, at one o'clock with one of my awesome, most awesome clients. And they just messaged, they're like, hey, I need help with this issue. Do you have 15 minutes today? And I think that's one of the reasons that they are so successful is because they're okay with like, hey, there are some things that I know how to do really well and some things that are really difficult. So if you can relate to one of these, I'd love to know which one in the chat or if it's something completely different. Um, and so what are the must have tools for, for mentoring? Oh, you know what? I have one more thing that I think makes mentoring really hard. I don't even know if I have space for it here. Uh, and I'm just going to write charisma and I'm going to explain it. So a lot of successful network marketing leaders, they're successful because they're just like, I just talk to people. Like maybe they built their business and um, got a lot of enrollments. I was talking to a leader last week about this where they're just like, they naturally know how to do stuff, right? Like maybe they have those great people skills. Uh, maybe it comes naturally. And what I was talking to this leader about was how she's just like, I can tell by her personality that she leads and recruits and enrolls with what I would just call charisma. Um, like she just kind of has a knack for it. And because of that, right? Like when she's working with her team, it's hard for her to put into words what she does. Um, and I think that is also something that's really hard for um, really, really good network marketers when it comes to mentoring people. Because they're like, what do you mean? You just talk to people and it's fine. Like, you'll be fine. Um, so what are the different tools? Um, number one, uh, I'm just going to put this in quotes because it doesn't need to be called this, what, this but this is kind of what I call it. Um, a training manual, um, a.k.a. processes, a.k.a. here is what... I say, would you like a copy? 
One of the things that makes it hard to move into action is if you actually don't know what to say and you care about your reputation in the industry. And so one of the tools that we have found to be really helpful for a lot of people is they take their uh, most important outlines, like how they invite people, their sales conversation outline, their business overview or recruiting conversation outline, and they just put it in a document so that they have it so that when they're working with people, they don't have to like, what do I even say? But what's also really helpful is that when they have a new builder, that new builder isn't starting from scratch. I was recently listening to a social science podcast. It's called No Stupid Questions. And it talks about how um, humans are mimickers. That's the way they learn. What they do is they watch other people take what they do and then customize it for their personality. And that's why having um, like your outlines just in one place is such a great tool for learning. You don't have to like put them through formal training, right? Just having something that they can model after to take what they like and leave what they don't like is super helpful. Uh, second must have mentoring tool is a method for new builders. Uh, milestone method to mentoring is the one we use. Um, and this idea, right, it's basically a list of all their like next firsts. Right. So when you're mentoring um, people, uh, who are independent business owners, what we wanna do is we wanna get them from here. Like I've never done anything to, let's get you to your, um, have your first event or let's get you your first customer. Let's get you your first builder. And so we have a list of milestones that we use to be able to say, okay, let's get you from one step to the next or let's do these first three steps and then let's get you to the next three. Um, and having them all laid out nicely is a nice tool so you can just check off where people are. And like truthfully, even for me, um, as a professional business coach, like this is a copy of the list of people that are in my customer first sales mastermind right now. And what I'm doing on this, like just sheet is I'm just right. Highlighting based on who has done their first milestone and then putting X's on milestones two, three, four for, for the program. And that helps me to focus. Okay. So like this person, I uh, will just call them Beth, right? Um, she has not done her first milestone yet, so I'm going to focus on getting her to her first milestone, and then I'm going to focus on the second milestone. All right, uh, tool number three is just the simple mentoring outline. Not something that's like, hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> right? That's not super helpful um, because the conversation can go off in a different way. When we ask people how are they doing today, they might respond with fine, or they're just like, dump all over you and now you find yourself in a therapy session what you're really trying to do is create sales in your network marketing business so um the mentoring outline that that i use that our clients use um and i'm going to give you if you just put i think outline in the comments uh we'll get you a link so you can get a copy uh but the outline that we use is like what's going well right now or what are your wins what's hard for you or what are your challenges what is success look like in the next week or the next two weeks and have them make a list of like the top actions that they need to take. That is the thing that helps with the non action taking. And then you can ask in order to take those actions, what do you need help with? Um, that is by far the easiest, most effective mentoring outline that I have used or seen um, in 21 years of managing, um, leading, training people that are in sales or in business. And so if you guys want a copy of that, then go ahead and just comment with the word outline and we'll give you a link um, so that you can download that. Um, so just to recap, must have mentoring tools, um, training manual, which is basically like your outlines, just all written out. Uh, number two, uh, milestone method. So a list of milestones. So you can just check them off as they go through. And then a simple mentoring outline for um, ongoing. Now, before I wrap up here, I'm gonna do just a really quick rant slash encouragement. So today I woke up and I wore my world's best boss shirt, which um, Charlie, my husband, got for me. I have a world's best boss um, mug as well. But I wanna tell you the story behind the world's best boss thing. Um, when I, I've always been good with bosses. 
so I mean, this is where I started in high school. Like I knew how to cozy up to teachers so I could get unlimited hall passes. I, I knew how to do some of those things. I don't know why, because I wasn't doing it with my parents or their friends, which I always got in trouble for. But I was good at that. Um, in my corporate career, I had 13 different directors in 11 years, which is crazy. So I had to get really, really good at being the greatest employee, right? Like making them feel like the world's best boss. And then I got my own, um, they started my own business because I was tired of bosses deciding whether I could work from home, deciding that I was salary capped, deciding all these things. So I want to be my own boss. And somebody said, when I, maybe a year or two in, they're like, how does it feel to be your own boss? And I was like, I don't know, this, this biatch is crazy. Like this boss that I have thinks I'm an imposter. This boss that I have thinks I can be doing more all the time. It's never enough, They right? And I realized through just like a bunch of different experiences that I was treating myself very poorly as my own boss. Um, and so that's when this whole like world's best boss concept came up for me. Cause I was like, would I want to work for this person that was like, you're an imposter, you're never enough. You're, you need to work harder. Are you even doing the right things? That is not a, that's not the kind of boss, that's like worse than the bosses that I left. And the bosses that I left were good people. I just didn't like the rules. They always treated me nicely. I wasn't even doing that. Um, and so I made a commitment to be to myself the type of boss that I would want to have, uh, which some days are better than others. Um, and so what I do as my own boss is like, I make my plan. I, I make the plan and I'm like, go do this. And I track like what's going well. Um, I try to keep myself focused on the positive things that are happening, not the sucker punches that I feel like we've been getting almost every day recently. Um, yeah, I try, I try to take care of myself. So um, that is the story behind the world's best boss shirt. It might look like if you're all you're doing is just watching the thing and you're like, she's wearing the world's best boss. Like, that's so weird. Um, that is the story behind it. And um, I also want to encourage you to give yourself the tools. Like one of the things I have to do for myself is give myself the tools in order to be successful. And so if what we've been talking about today is, right, these are the tools that you need. I want you to consider um as the best boss like think about the best boss right they would be like what resources do you need to be in order to be successful and they would find a way to get them for you and i want you to um start to think like that now if you need help developing those resources let us know we have a mastermind for that um if if not if that's not a good fit for you then make a commitment to get those tools for yourself because i think that's going to help a lot um all right that's it for today just remember if you want the outline a uh, simple mentoring outline, just type outline in the comments. Um, if you guys uh, need anything, let us know. We're happy to help. Hope you have a great day. Bye.